Hi everyone, Tom Larson here with Tech Training for Teachers. In today's episode, we're going to show you how to use Google Docs to quickly create a set of meeting notes for your next Google Calendar event. Let's get started. To create a set of meeting notes for your next Google Calendar event, click on the Insert menu, go to Templates, and then from here select the Meeting Notes option. Google Docs will scan through all your upcoming events inside Google Calendar. At this point, it's up to you to choose the event that you'd like to create notes for. I'll click here this Q3 Tech Summit option. Now when we choose that, you'll see that we have the option to share and attach the document with all the attendees. I'll do that, but before I do, I'm going to go ahead and title the name of my document. So I'll just click up here in the text title field and right before the date, I'll type in the word notes. There we are. At this point, it's ready to be shared. So if I click share and attach, I will see the names of all the invitees will be coming. All right. Uh, also, you'll notice that the edit option is selected by default. We want to give them access to work on this document during the actual meeting. Right, so everything looks good. At this point, I'll go ahead and I'll click Share. I'll switch on over to one of the invitees' accounts. Here we are on Clint's Google Calendar page. If he clicks on the upcoming event, you'll see that he has a link here to the document that we just worked on. It's attached to the event. So if he clicks on it, it'll take him right here. Here we're looking at what would be a finished version of meeting notes. As you can see, we had uh, topics that were discussed. We made some notes here. One last thing that we'd like to do, and that is to assign action items to some of the attendees. And This is sort of a bonus tip that I'm embedding into this video. So if we scroll down here, you'll see that I have several of them, five to be exact, five action items, and I want to assign each of these to an individual. So the way we do that is to go ahead and select the action items, and then we're going to right click or control click, and then choose comment. In the comment field to assign this task to one of the attendees, you're going to start by adding the plus symbol followed by the name of the attendee. Here we are, Clint Hughes. When we do this, you'll see this option to assign the action item to that individual. I'll go ahead and check that and then click Assign. So now there's no question who is responsible for what. If I go back over to Clint's screen, you can see here that he has that notification that, hey, this task has been assigned to me. So let's say some time passes and Clint actually gets this done. He can come back here and uh, pull up these comments. In this case, he's going to say, all done. All right, and then he'll check it off the list. He'll do that by just clicking here on the Mark as Done option. If you'd like to see a history of the comments made on this document or the assigned action items, simply go up here to the Open Comment History option, and you'll see everything that's happened. Uh, at the very top, you'll see that I assigned this particular task to Clint Hughes, and he marked it as done. We also see his comment there. Thanks for watching today's video. If you have any questions, reach out to me via email. My address is tom at techtrainingforteachers.com. Also, if you like the content posted here, be sure to subscribe and click that notification icon so you know the moment new content is posted.